It's no secret that the newest release to the Smite roster is a bit weak. But if you're like me, Robin is so much fun to play. He has everything I want. He's basic attack based, he's a warrior, and he scales pretty well. Well anyway, I'm going to be going through all of his abilities, from his passive to his ultimate, discussing things that I think can be changed, or can be buffed, or possibly even nerfed, to make him have a healthier and just a better kid overall. These ideas are completely coming from me, so if you want to bring out your own ideas or buffs that you think would be useful for him, just put them in the comments down below. You can discuss the things that I say. Uh, some of the things I'm going to say are might be ridiculously overpowered or maybe ridiculously underpowered, but I don't really think too much needs to be changed, so let's just jump into it. Starting with the passive, I think it's a really cool passive overall. Unfortunately, it only works with his one, but I think adding some extra abilities to his possibly his 3 and his ultimate would also be really cool. But it, we'll get to the ultimate with that later because the ultimate I want to be a bit different than just working with the passive stacks. But I think that would be really cool if they added it to more abilities or the usefulness of it to more abilities because it may fix the problems that some of the abilities have right now. Overall I think his 1 is his strongest ability. It works well with his basic attack chain as well with his passive. It's the only ability that uses his passive and it provides a lot of damage so there's not much I would change on here if there was anything I would change it would just be an increase in the damage just give them a small bit more burst not too much but that's the only thing I could think of I don't think this is what needs to be changed in his kit and it's his best feature Robin's 2 is an ability I'm actually a big fan of I've dodged many things with it and it's quite funny to do it sometimes as well um, if there's anything that can be done with this it's definitely the passive I think using the passive with this would actually be a really intelligent thing to do. So a lot of times you'll use this during a fight because you're trying to dodge something and your passive will actually be stacked up. So adding not an extra duration but maybe extra damage or possibly even movement speed. I think the movement speed would be better. Adding a higher percentage movement speed. It could be good for just not for just not dodging but also for chasing would also be a really nice and unique way to go about this and I think so some good passive usage with it. With more stacks you get maybe a small bit more movement speed. I think that would actually be a really nice change to his 2. But this ability is not the weakest part of his kit and it's not too bad overall. Now this is supposed to be his main wave clear, his root, and his heal. Unfortunately it doesn't do any of those quite efficiently except for the root because you really can't not root someone when you hit them. But anyway, so the heal is almost non-existent, the damage is too low, and the root may also be too low. So th some things I think they should do with this. For damage numbers, I think those should just be upped in general. Just just a l not too much of a buff because even though they say you should max in the soul lane, I think the 1 should just overall be stronger than the 3 to be max in the soul lane. Just because it's your main fighting tool, so the 3 shouldn't really be changed for that. But for passive stacks or passive integration, I think that if you have more stacks, you should get a longer snare or or even both actually uh, greater heal as well as possibly a lower cooldown depending how you land it because right now it has a really long cooldown for what it gives and it really doesn't give too much so I think passive integration to give it a higher well higher heal and uh, longer roots and instead of passive integration for the cooldown I think the cooldown should actually just be reduced by itself and the damage should be increased by a bit so those are the changes I would do to the 3. I think that would put it in line because right now it's in a very weak spot and it's really the sore spot on Robin. As you noticed earlier, most of the abilities have just been mostly number changes or hardly even being changed at all and passive integration. Well the ultimate is an ability that I would actually change nearly completely while still maintaining what the ability is. So right now you get 40% reduction to anyone except for the person you ult. Unfortunately, I think if they buff everything in Robin's kit beside or and leave that the same, he may be just a bit too strong because you can just ult the support and then run at the carry. I mean, there's nothing stopping you. So if someone's standing by the carry, you can just jump on them and then run at the carry and take reduced damage from the carry, which I don't personally think is the way that the ultimate's really supposed to be designed for. I think what should happen with it is that the cooldown should be reduced which I guess was pretty much had to be done no matter what because 70 seconds is really insane for that ability like 45 seconds I think is still a bit high I think 45 seconds so we'll keep it at that so we don't 
to make it too strong. And I think the mitigation should scale from 35% to 55%. And that may sound a bit too strong, but this is where it gets interesting. I think the length in which you mitigate the damage should also scale like it already is on the ultimate, but it should be a cap. Meaning that whenever you're hitting the target, you'll be able to continue your damage mitigation until, of course, you reach the cap. If you don't hit the person, you will not be able to continue your mitigation. So that, let's say, Artemis throws her bore out and you get stunned. So you can't hit her. That means your mitigation, as soon as your stacks go down, it's out. You can't do it anymore. Or if you decide to hit another enemy, it's just going to slowly, slowly wear away because you're not hitting your target, the person you ulted. But if she doesn't ult and you hit her multiple times, it should last the whole cap or until she dies. But, but the thing with, with uh, when she dies, as soon as she dies, your ultimate's not going to completely wear off. It's just going to wane down as if you weren't hitting her. Or if you, if you continue hitting someone else, of course. If you don't hit anyone else and the combo stacks just drop, then of course that's going to drop as well. So I think this would be a very interesting mechanic to add out and bring a bit more depth and make the ultimate a bit more dynamic. And also let it scale a bit better because it already scales pretty decently but in terms of uh, the ability it lets you do in team fights but this wouldn't be huge and make him a monster in those late game team fights as well as make him a monster in tower diving and at all stages of the game but also with the tower diving like i was saying with the lowered mitigation early game it won't be as big of a deal early game whenever he dives your turret i mean it's still going to be a lot of mitigation but he won't be able to dive it as effectively as he currently is right now I know a lot of people want damage on the ultimate, but I personally think it's not made for the burst and that the ability of that it gives you alone is just going to be strong enough to carry it through. Now that was just my opinion on what can be changed on Robin's kit. Overall I think he's a fun god, I don't think he's as bad as people are saying he is because if you go a certain build you can have success with him, he's not as bad of a release as release Nox and Kabraken, but that's just my opinion, so if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more of this, just like, comment, subscribe. If you want to discuss the things that I said or add your own, just, uh, just put in the comments down below. I may try and uh, respond to some of those, or you guys can have your own discussions in there. So this has been the again, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.